Look, Dr. Cox, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I honestly think that the only reason you're not down at that hospital right now is that you're afraid. I think you're right. I do. It's partly because you've really gotten to know me this year, but mostly it's because, well, I told you that I was afraid earlier today, so please don't tell me that you've come here to reiterate things to me that I have already said, because I know the things that I've already said. In fact, I'm the one who said them. You gotta get back in the game, Coxie. Okay, Co Coxie w w was a mistake. Pretend I, I didn't say Coxie. Get out. Look, I, it boggles my mind that you just bail on a patient. A patient is a stranger in a bed that you can distance yourself from whenever you need to. Ben is my friend. And I'm gonna try to get in there and visit him over the next couple of weeks. But if I can't, then that'll be very sad for me. But really, it'll just mean that I'm human. Oh, and newbie, please don't think that you've come here because Ben needs me. You're here because you're scared to death that you might actually have to rely on yourself for the first time ever. And that, that is just the saddest thing of all. Don't have a clue what it is like to be next I think one of the most universal human experiences is feeling alone. You'd never know it, but there's most likely tons of people feeling the exact same way. Maybe because you're feeling completely abandoned. Maybe because you realize that you aren't as self-sufficient as you thought. Maybe because you know you should have handled something differently. Or maybe because you aren't as good as you thought you were. Either way, when you hit that low point, you have a choice. You can either wallow in self-pity, or you can suck it up. It's your call.